What is up guys, my name is Magnum the Great and I'm a streamer over on Twitch TV. Trying to find the best settings my AMD graphics card to stream with has been a pain. I've probably watched over 100 different YouTube videos and still had no idea what to do. In this video, I'm going to combine all that I've learned in one video to show you guys the very best stream settings in OBS. Alrighty guys, let's get straight into the video. First thing we're going to do is open up OBS. With OBS open, we're going to open up our settings tab. Now with our settings open, we're going to navigate to our general settings. Alrighty guys, so the first thing I always do is change my theme from dark to Acre. I'm going to apply this. As you guys can see, this looks way better. There's a lot of contrast. You can clearly see the different tabs. And we're all set with general. Now that we're back into our stream settings, we're going to go down to our streaming tab. This is where you guys are going to connect your Twitch. The easiest part of the video, all you have to do is link your Twitch and you're all set. Now we're going to navigate down to our output settings. Now that we're on our output tab, all we have to do is make sure we're in the streaming section. All I need you guys to do over here is change your encoder to the H264 slash AVC encoder. If you have an AMD graphics card, this is going to give you the very best performance. I personally never stream on my CPU. Streaming on my CPU puts too much strain and takes away power from my game. This gives me the best gaming performance. Rescale output, we're going to make sure this is unchecked. Leave this unchecked. You never want to be rescaling on Twitch. All that does is makes your encoder work more and there's no reason to. Now for preset, I have this on Twitch streaming. For our quality preset, I have this on quality. For our pre-pass mode, I have this disabled. And for our bitrate, I have it at 6,000. Now in the next portion of this video, I'm gonna show you how to choose your bitrate. Alrighty guys, the first thing we're gonna do is run an internet speed test. So I want you guys to navigate down into the description and click on the link. Now with our speed testers open, all we have to do is click go. In a few seconds, this should give us our download and upload speeds. The only part that we want to be concerned about in this internet speed test is going to be our upload speed. The max bitrate you guys are gonna be able to stream in on Twitch is going to be your upload speed plus three zero. So for me, I have an upload speed of 11. All I have to do is add three zeros to that. So 11,000, that means I could theoretically stream an 11,000 bit rate on Twitch. That's really unnecessary and I never stream in more than 6,000. Alrighty guys, now that we know the max bit rate we can stream in, I want you to navigate to the second link in the description, which is Twitch's broadcast recommendations. Now what these Twitch broadcast recommendations are saying is if you guys want to stream in 1080p by 60 FPS, you're going to want at least 6000 bitrate. So then again guys, I want you guys to check out your upload speed, add three zeros to that, and that is the max amount of bitrate you can stream in. Alrighty guys, we're back in our OBS settings, and I stream in 6000 bitrate. I never need more than 6000. And when I stream in 6,000, I never lag at all. Realistically, anything over four or 5,000 is gonna be best. We're gonna move on to audio. I never really changed anything in my audio settings, so you guys shouldn't either. If you guys have any problems with your audio, make sure to comment the problem down below and I can help you guys out. Now we're gonna be moving on to our video section. This is gonna be the most controversial part of the video. Everyone has always told me that you must stream in 1920 by 1080. That's a complete lie. All you wanna do is make sure whatever you're streaming in is in a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So as you can see, I stream 1536 by 864. I keep my downscale filter at Lands Coast and I stream in 60 FPS. Alrighty guys, now if you don't believe me that this is perfectly alright for streaming on Twitch, I'm going to include some of my VODs from my Twitch to show you what this really looks like. Alrighty guys, now in the hockey section, I never really change anything. This is if you wanted to set up macros, so say if you want to set up a streaming macro, you could set one up. I never use them. Alrighty guys, now we're going to move down to the advanced tab. I always set my process priority too high, and this gives OBS the correct amount of power to stream your games. So we're going to scroll down to stream delay. I use a delay. I use a 15 second delay. I stream competitive games such as Valorant, Call of Duty, and Battlefield. If you guys want to check those out, make sure to click the link in the description to my Twitch. I stream basically every day. You can check me out there. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. If this video helped you out at all, all I ask in return is you guys like the video and share it with a friend who might be needing these settings. Alright guys, peace.